Hello and welcome to Real to Real. I hope you've been enjoying these first few days of spring. And change was also taking place at diocesan schools in Holyoke and Chicopee, where they welcomed new principals. The new administrators confronted a unique situation facing safety and educational challenges during a very difficult year. Nick Morganelli has their stories. Meet our newest principals, William McDonald of St. Joan of Arc in Chicopee and Paula Fitzgerald, who now leads Blessed Sacrament in Holyoke. Both are first-timers in this position with a Catholic school. Superintendent Balarjan tells us that embracing Catholic culture is a top priority. One of the top traits is their, um, their ability to understand this culture and to have a desire to advance the culture. And, and then second to that, because we are schools, you know, their ability to, to understand the needs of, of, of a school, the academic needs, the, the excellence needs that we're looking for. So how did Paula stand out to the superintendent? Her passion for education um, shine, shines through. Uh, she also has connections with Elms. She, she understands the Catholic schools in, in our diocese. Um, and she spoke really openly about, you know, wanting to make sure that uh, that Blessed Sacrament was accessible to the community, that it was reflective of the community. We love her here. She's kind. She's thoughtful. She's got a great... Um, education background and I know she's very well qualified so that makes me um, have a lot of faith and confidence in what she's doing. I grew up with Paula so um, we joke around when we say that I bribed her to come here but I kind of did. Um, <laughs> she has a good sense of humor, she's faith filled and she's just a good fit for the school. Principal Fitzgerald's education and teaching experience have its roots right here at Our Lady of the Elms College. I'm extremely proud that my mother graduated from the Elms, and then I graduated from the Elms, and then my daughter graduated from the Elms. So we had three generations of people who, of women who attended the Elms College and, and were beneficiaries of the wonderful education they provide along with the community. When I met with Father Gentile and the members of the interview committee um, and spoke with the previous principal who retired, I uh, knew that it was very similar to the Elms and that they have a mission. They're very faithful and committed to the work that they do and the service that they offer to families and students. The church's pastor, Father Gentile, served on the selection committee and is pleased that Paula was recommended. We're grateful to God and to all those who, who guided her and, and taught her. Um, she's been a great addition. The entire community, from the, the, the Father Gentile to the families, to the students, to the staff, continue to amaze me every day with the work they do and the, and the joy with which they do it. We're very fortunate to have her and, and hopefully we will for many years to come. Bill McDonald recently retired after 17 years teaching physical education and an equal amount of time as principal, but he decided to go back to work. And I wanted to come back where I could make a difference. I wanted to share my experiences that I've had in the other school districts. I wanted to join a community where I was part of a working team. Being married and raising five children and soon to be a grandfather to six, it has influenced how he does his job. I think I've learned compassion. I learned that every student is somebody's son or daughter. Every student is somebody's grandchild. Uh, it makes me a better principal when I look at these children as, as children and not as a statistic or a number. Chris Raymond, St. Joan of Arc's business manager, works closely with him and shared a bit about his personality. We've had some um, evening open houses when the students have left the building. And um, he's there to greet the door. And every time I go to introduce him, oh, this is the principal, they're like, oh, we know he's already introduced himself. So he's very um, easy to speak with and very welcoming and puts people at ease. He's just very visible. The, the kids love seeing him. He visits the classrooms. He, you'll see him in the hallways. And like the principals before him, he's in the lunch room every single day greeting the kids. He has been seen reading books in preschool. 
It's like he's part of the team from the moment he got here. His desire to be part of the community, to be in the classrooms, to, to take it all in, his real openness, that was, that was, it was very striking in the interview. There are dress down days occasionally, and a recent one cost each student one dollar. The money raised was given to a local charity. One hundred and thirty eight dollars. Wow. Yeah. So that is that is <laughs> that, that is for you. Thank for, you, for thank all. you. I want to grow the school. I'd like to add some clubs or some after school activities that would draw some children to the school. So we're just looking to keep the enrollment going in the in a positive direction. It's what I was meant to do. Um, and I feel that I, I do a good job of motivating students, motivating teachers, and they in turn motivate me. Smiling about our new principals in Holyoke and Chicopee for Real to Real, I'm Nick Morganelli.